The national parliaments are behind the EU curve in, in, in a number of ways. Um, first, with regard to legislation, because a lot of legislation is negotiated, in fact, between the European Parliament and the Council of Ministers, representatives uh, behind clo closed doors in trialogue meetings before there's even been a first reading in the European Parliament. So it's very difficult for national parliaments to know uh, what the state of the negotiations is while negotiations are ongoing. So it changes from the drafts that they've originally seen. But recently it's also behind the curve in terms of um, different kinds of powers that have been given to different executive actors at the supranational level, such as the, the Commission with regard to the European semester, um, and also, for example, the European Central Bank. As well, uh, and I should mention, the European Council, which is crucial in terms of taking leading decisions in the European Union, often they are not informed on time the nature of the discussions that will take place in European Council meetings and are presented with decisions afterwards. I think given the manner in which the European Union is evolving that it's neither only supranational or only intergovernmental, but is a complex mixture between the two, it's crucial that the parliaments across those levels, so both the European Parliament and the national parliaments, cooperate together. And I think this, it's happening to some extent already, but it can be intensified either through commi inter-parliamentary committee meetings, which are happening more and more often also at the initiative of the European Parliament, but also national um, members of the European Parliament attending national parliament com parliamentary committees to give information and have a dialogue at crucial moments in either the legislative process or in other non-legislative processes such as the European semester. I think there's a number of things that national parliaments can and, in my view, should do themselves. First, they must insist vis-a-vis -vis their own government that they are fully informed as to the decisions that are being taken at the European level. They should have access to the databases that the government has, the European level database that the government has, so that they have all the information they require. Um, that's one thing that they can attempt to do. The Germans have recently adopted a very far-reaching a law in that respect that obliges the uh, government to give that kind of information to the parliament um, and that could act as a, as a model. That's one thing that national parliaments um, can do themselves but also I think they must increasingly engage with the supranational actors and also invite the presidents of various key institutions such as the European Council, the Commission and indeed the European Central Bank to come to them and to give them information and to engage in a dialogue with them. And this is, is being increasingly done and I think this is an element um, that can be developed further. <laughs> <laughs>